Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Fallout 4. Alright, when we left off, we were, well, back at Sanctuary after having done a couple missions. We're going to be turning them into Preston in a moment, but there was a thing I needed to mention. Um, that's not the uh, AUG that I was running earlier, and uh, there's a reason why. Um... The AUG, <laughs> the mod I was running earlier for the Steyr AUG was a little lackluster in my opinion. There was some cool additions to it and whatnot, but it never really grew past the, what was the base model that uh, the guy made. This uh, particular uh, modder was HyperX, if I remember right. Um, <laughs> I had the names in front of me, and now that they're not, my brain is stalling. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, the, uh, Steyr Aug by, uh, HyperX was good, but it wasn't all I imagined it could be. So, I started looking around a little bit just to see if there was another, you know, Aug <laughs> or AUG style AUG mod out there and I came across one from the shiny Haxorus now the shiny Haxorus is one is a little uh, I want to say it's better than the way it looks <laughs> at least just off the pictures because some of the pictures are repeating over and over again and it was probably not intentional but uh <laughs> it's kind of unfortunately not as popular as the one by HyperX because well it's a bigger file size it's a fairly bigger file size it's about double the file size of HyperX's one but when I boot it up it has a lot more uh modding options as you can see and <laughs> it comes with skins that i actually like like the fancy hunter skin here uh because i am an asshole <laughs> i immediately grab this because fuck yeah this is just the sort of opulent bullshit that i enjoy <laughs> I would have preferred the gold to be uh, platinum, but that's just me. But yeah, I grabbed this because um, it was a lot more fun looking. Um, even drawing it's a lot more fun, as you'll see here. It actually has a different animation just for charging handle and all of that. As... A different speed when it comes to snapping it up to uh, aim down sights and uh, the sounds are different as well it's just all around a completely different experience from the hyper x aug the aug the whatever the fuck you want to call it so personally <laughs> personally i enjoy the shiny hexers one far more than hyper x's so we're going to be running that one for the time being. So I wanted to explain that before we get started. I uh, did quite a bit of testing before I did all of this. It actually took me um, a little bit of time to let the day cycle out so that way I could get this gun. And I just modeled it up from there. So now I've explained all that. Time to move on to telling Preston we did a thing. <clears throat> gotta hand it to you general you really turned things around for the Miniman. thank you I never thought i'd see the day that the Miniman had artillery support again yeah and we'll eventually do it here them at all our settlements to expand our coverage that's a great idea returns. she's something else isn't she yeah yeah what do you think of her what do you think of her people like her so yeah comes across pretty hard ass but she's one of the good ones well the good ones I usually do stories about her from the old timers but i didn't know she was still around the fact that she's come back to the Miniman means we must be doing something right. Yeah, here's hoping. I'll let you know if I hear of any settlements that need our help. In the meantime, Ooh. make sure to offer help to anyone that needs it. That can only help our cause. So no more out of you when it comes to that? I took care of those supermans. Yeah. 
I was the about to say. Relieved to not have them to worry about anymore. <laughs> this should have came out after. Super mutants. Civilians just don't stand a chance against them. Yeah. There we go. We wiped out that super mutant raiding party. They won't be attacking any more settlements. Good to hear. One step at a time. We'll huh. make the Commonwealth safe for people who just want to live in peace. Now, as always. Uh, let's not. Let's not. Can we just let the we other thing out that super mutant rating run point. out? They won't be attacking any more settlements. Ah uh, man, what the hell is going on in the background over there? The Commonwealth safe for people who just want to live in peace. Now, as always, there's another fire to put out. Oh yeah. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. Okay. Completed defendant Hagman's alley. I want to figure out what the hell's going on over here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I thought like something was clipping and just bouncing around in the background. It, that's what it looked like. But no, it's just weird texture shenanigans. Okay, um, we did the defend. And... I have to travel to Grey Garden to complete that one. But that one doesn't have as much of a time limit. So, we're kind of good. For the time being. Um. Oh. We used to be able to activate these, but it doesn't seem like that's the case now. So, time to, uh, real quick. There we go. No. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a new one. Then see these guys get angry real quick. There we go. Perfect. And of course that 60 round mag is just so nice. Alright. Yeah, of course. Of course. Why wouldn't I? There we go. What? I don't have carrots? Why the fuck do I not have carrots? I have them growing in the settlement. Da fook. Okay. I call shenanigans. What the hell? Has no one been paying attention to these things? Huh. being paid attention to, just no one's... Huh. Odd. Very odd. Oh yeah, there's another thing I needed to break down here. But I keep forgetting to. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And store all that. There we go. Aw. It's nice to see these guys still talking and having good time. Ooh. Fair enough. Sounds like quite the adventure. was. Someday, I'll tell you all about it. It's funny. She'll get pissy at anyone, pretty much everyone around her, but Marcy will absolutely adore talking with Mama Murphy, always. It's kind of funny to me. What the, what the hell happened here? I don't remember leaving this open. I don't remember leaving that open. Huh. Weird. Huh. There is entire sections of fence that is missing. That's odd. Oh well. It's like it's not even the size is that big either, so well, whatever. Screw it. It's fine. 
Alright, maybe if we sleep overnight, we can uh, fix that problem. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> that's another thing. I downloaded a couple of the Creation Club packs because, uh, well, I wanted to try them, see how they looked. And uh, they came with colored rugs and bed options that actually look good. So I'd say strong, strong recommendation there. If you like having good looking, you know, pre-war shit <laughs> in your settlements, that's usually a good one to go for. Had to drink my coffee. Give me a moment. I need to get more carrots, so I'm trying to sleep and get that done. And it's really weird how that just didn't get taken care of. Usually it always does. really odd all right and there we go perfect and let's see if the hell oh I see why is why is nothing growing Okay, I call shenanigans. I have no idea why nothing's working right. That's odd. That is really odd. I'll eventually fix that, I guess. Alright, so, thing we gotta move to. Not that. <laughs> not that. We're not doing any of the DLC early. Still need to do the glowing sea, but we have a level up, which should allow us to finish up getting rank two in science high tech perks. Well, high tech mods, rather. Blech. So, more than a smoking gun and a of you are right, but for right now, there we go. The? Who the hell are you? What are you doing just staring at my power armor, man? You should be working up in the little shack. Excuse me. I'm sure I have something you need. Yeah. Why are you here, though? Not right now. Sure thing. Okay. All right. He's just living here now, I guess. Uh-oh. The fuck? What? Huh. That's odd. You can enter it now, but it doesn't let you move without power core. That's odd. Okay, why is my phone ringing? Oh my god, this is just a wonderful fucking thing. Everything's going wrong. Can't get fucking things to work right. Like carrots growing. This guy's sitting over here for no fucking reason. Man, oh man. <laughs> this is something. There we go, calibrated shocks. Oh. You yeah, know. <laughs> okay. Calibrated shocks. There we go. Whoops. Come on. I wanted to go further down. There we go. Targeting HUD. No. Internal database. That'd be kind of useful, but it's not what I'm looking for. Increases VAT's hit chance. That would be nice. Uh, rad scrubbers, recon sensors. Hmm. Matrix overlay would actually be really nice. There we go. And don't really need a bright headlamp. Uh, 
I could, I guess, upgrade it to Model D. Yeah, I could do that. Start doing that conversion. There we go. And anything for the torso that I can add? Blood cleanser. Reduces chance for addiction to drugs. Yeah, that'd be nice, but I'd rather something else. Like, um... Stealth Boy. Nah. <laughs> That's not necessary. Jetpack would be nice. I don't really play around with Jetpack that often, but that requires a lot of investment to get to that point. Um, motion Assist Servos would be kind of cool. Uh... Kinetic Dynamo would be pretty cool as well. But we're just going to leave that alone for now. For the arms... No, I can't do anything? Oh, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get that. Gotta be quick. Because problems are arising. Alright. There we go. Uh, geez, it sounds so bad. And all of it's up to Model D. Perfect. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. Well, if I pop in here, I won't need to do anything, so. There we are. Eventually, I'll pop in. There we go. Pop in the fucking... I didn't want that. Come on. Alright. Now, I can safely say I can take these off. Well, wait. <laughs> wait before I say that. How many, uh... I have 39. I have 39 fusion cores. Well, 40 if you count that one. I guess I guess I can start running the power armor now it's a little early but I mean I can always pick up more fusion cores as time goes on yeah yeah let's do it let's do it all right um, I you know, just need to take some of this off because some of it won't help in the long run. Um, because the power armor overrides any armor bonus you get from these. So, at some point you just gotta get rid of them. There we are. I just realized I dropped those instead of putting them somewhere. I am an idiot. I am an idiotic person. <laughs> That's what I is. Alright, um... Where should I put them in here? Now. Uh, what I should do... Is put them in here. And put... There we go. Just have to make sure it's all in there. Uh, yeah. It's all in there. And all good. Perfect. Now. We jump right in. And perfect. Now, we don't technically have to give Kate a suit of power armor, but I want to. <laughs> so, here we are. Finally running the power armor. And we have the T60 cool fucking suit of power armor. Now, nothing can stop us. Well, nothing that isn't massive and deadly and gonna fuck me up regardless of whether I'm wearing power armor or not but those are fewer and far between anyway I think I should end the episode because it is now it's now me just messing around in power armor 
that's all this episode is now. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games. And fucking around with uh, showing off new mods that I've discovered. Um, and, well... <laughs> playing around with some of the stuff in the settlements uh, and figuring out that I finally have the ability to run the power armor for you. 460. Ooh, that's going to be nice.